Vincent's. Today we are doing something again on Try It Thursday that I've never done. As you all know, I did that wood, wood burning project, and this was my tray that I made it called a charcuterie. If I don't know how to say that right, but charcuterie tray. I think it did like a meat and cheese tray. And it says meat, cheese, crackers, fruit, fun. Then it says McFate and charcuterie. And that video, you can see I struggled making it, but it, it turned out all right. Now, I did oil it with coconut oil so that it is preserved, but I just, I just feel like if you're putting meat and stuff on it, I didn't want that to soak into the woods. So I'm into the woods. <laughs> I'm going to just cover a little bit with plastic wrap. You won't see it because the meat will be on top of it. And I just want to have a little bit of protection on there. So I'm going to do that. All right. You will notice that I'm not very neat when I do these things. It, I can't be neat because I can't really feel my hands properly. And uh, so unfortunately, I'm a little bit messier. All right, that, that's gonna be all right. I, I think I want to put one piece on the back of that just to hold it on. So just let me grab the saran wrap. We have had this box of saran wrap for probably five or six years. It's finally seeming like it's getting down. Oh, okay, sorry, I just both fell. Okay, that's how unsteady I am, it's crazy. Um, we've had this box for a very long time, and it seems like it's getting low, but every time we think it's getting low, it doesn't. So, all right, I gotta stay seating down because I, a disaster. All right, now, I've also been very worried about flooding, and that doesn't help it when that is happening. But um, she went to the update for hers. She did go to see the surgeon she's been waiting all this time for, and I hate to say anything bad about people, but he doesn't know his toes from his knees. Anyway, his bedside manner was uh, a lot to be desired. He's, he says to her, I can't do anything for you. You're so fat and you smoke. Who does that? Who says that? What kind of doctor? You, you encourage your patients to not smoke. You encourage your patients to lose weight, but you do not tell them that you won't fix a medical problem because of that. He said, I could, when I was doing the surgery, he said, I could nick your bowel or anything when you have to work through that. And she said, she says, well, then it wouldn't be caused by my smoking or my fat, it'd be caused by you nicking my bowel. So anyway, she was told that the family doctor is going to put the request over to another surgeon at the other hospital that she wants to go to. So that'll be the second request that'll have gone to there. And she's supposed to go to urgent care um, today, I don't know if she's going to or not, because yesterday she was in real pain after she had had her visit with him. He was pushing and prodding on her, and she was in real pain. And uh, so they said, well, you should go to urgent care. But it was a snowstorm, and she was tired, and she hadn't slept the night before, which I can understand. So she took some time and all went to bed. And she said she's feeling a lot better today after having had that sleep. But I said to her, you still think you should go to urgent care, but we'll see what she does. Okay, now, that doesn't look very pretty, but we're going to cover it all up with, you know, the meat and stuff. I'll come, let me see. We're going to cover it all up with meat. Now, I, I bought a couple of kinds. There's only Bill and I here, so I don't want to have a whole bunch of, we can make sandwiches and stuff later, but I don't want a bunch left over. But we're going to have a little date night tonight. <laughs> so, well, just finger foods. Smoked beef pastrami. And uh, roast beef, and I've got smoke flavored gouda slices and medium cheddar cheese slices. And then I have 
Garden Vegetable Breton. And I've never had these. This says Venta Original from Dare. I don't know, what is Venta? Sturdy yet delicate. It is a hearty cracker with a mouth-watering taste and a wholesome crunch of eight grains and seeds. A truly satisfying and versatile snack. Oh, that sounds like a good snack to me. All right, and I tied a little, uh, taped a little garbage bag on the side here so, so I can put all these things into it. One of these days, you know, I'm gonna get so smart that I'm gonna actually know what I'm doing. That'll be just about time for me to lose my mind and not remember anything. So, we'll see. I find that when I'm playing Yahtzee with Bill, I said, he can take advantage of me if, oh, this has got a lot of water on. I'm gonna go get some paper towels. He can take advantage of me because my brain stops working when my meds quit working. So he can take advantage of that. Not that he does, like, we, we, we're pretty evenly tied. Like Claudine, we got a little challenge going on with her and her friends. They are um, way better than we are, let me tell you, way better. But they play six games at a time. We usually only do three. So we decided the other day to do six games just to try it. And we did the six games, and Bill's score wasn't as high as Claudine's by far, but Bill's score was right up where their scores are. Um, Claudine, of course, was 2,000 ahead of that, but I was the, the lowest of them. But I said, I can eventually figure it out. So I'm going to say, so Bill and I said, well, we'll practice. We'll play, like, we like playing the three games at once. And I said, we'll play that for a little bit, and then we will do a sixth one every now and then to, so that you know, if we ever living in the same place, we'll be able to play a game Yancy with them. Won't be just us. That'd be nice. Well, we think it'll be nice, and Claudine says she thinks it's gonna be nice. But I don't know, I could drive anybody not though, so we'll see. Hopefully I don't drive her crazy. Because if I do, I'll be out in the streets. Don't really want that. Okay, let's see. Bill's gone down for coffee downstairs. We have a at one o'clock every day. They have a, a coffee group that meets, and he really enjoys going down and socializing with people. Okay, we got roast beef. We got pastrami, and here we've got. I don't know if there's a skin on them or not, but we got smokies. So three of them. No, four, no, three, I have three of them. All right. It's been in the fridge overnight here and they're all wet and I don't want to do that. I'm gonna have to cut the skins, I think, off these because there's no way Bill could chew through that. Bill was saying to me the other day, he said, I keep telling everybody, oh, Bill has to have things soft or he doesn't chew through things and whatnot. And he says, you've never told them why I can't chew through things. And I said, no, I haven't. I didn't think it was for me. But he says, I don't care. So he actually has no teeth. His teeth were very, very bad. And they were aching all the time. And he said, I'd rather have no teeth than have this. Well, I said, no, you go get dentures. So we were in Halifax and we went to the dental college and he had all his teeth pulled out and it, the pain subsided and uh, they fit him for dentures and they put the dentures on and he hated the dentures. They, they were wrong dentures. I, I will say that. They were wrong dentures. They um, they never fit him properly. He said that he had to take his teeth out every time he wanted to eat a sandwich. He couldn't, he, he couldn't eat with them up in. And I said, that's ridiculous. So we contacted them again and they said, that they would replace them if we wanted. But Bill says, I'm so used to it now. He says, I'll just keep on going. So he didn't worry about it. Well, that, that was 15 years ago. So the other day he says to me, you know, it's getting harder to eat. He said, I, I think I'd kind of like to maybe try getting a pair of dentures. And I said to him, no, I don't think you could get used to them now. Like, first of all, your, your mouth has completely changed the shape and everything. I mean, I, I cook everything very soft for him. 
but I think for, he misses eating an apple. And I said, well, you can eat the applesauce and get the flavor, but he's sort of indicating that he wants me to look into it. So I said, I will phone around and see if it's possible. And if it's possible, then we'll talk about it. But I never thought I'd hear him say that he wanted to do that because, good heavens, he's so used to it. And I said to him, that's, and that's one of the reasons that he has the beard um, is because even before he, when he had teeth, I used to say to him, you need to keep your beard at all times. And he says, why? And I, <laughs> sounds so stupid. I said to him, because you have stupid lips. And he says, what do you mean I have stupid lips? And I said, your lips are shaped funny. He says, that's not nice. And I said, it's not nice, but it's the truth. So anyway, I don't know what made them look stupid, but they did. But anyway, so I got used to him with the beard and I, I just liked him with the beard. Then when the teeth came out, I said, you know, that's, that's a double bonus because I said, now you can't tell that you have no teeth because of the beard. Whereas if you had no teeth and you had just your lips sucked into your mouth, you, you would definitely know that. You know what? I'm not going to take the skin off. I, that one didn't come off very good. I'll just, there's a loose bit. I'll, yeah, see, if it's a loose bit, I'll just pull it off. But I'm not going to hack the sausage to pieces. You know, you go into the, the deli departments or you go to a, a fancy party. Oh my goodness, they're ch ch cheese trays and they look so good. Now, if, if I was doing it, you know, where I was having people and stuff, I'd be putting pickles out and things, but, and olives, but, you know, Bill and I, we don't eat any of that sort of stuff. So, well, I eat pickles. But he only eats sweet mixed. And, and, uh, so I said to him, I said, we're not going to buy a bunch of stuff that we don't really need. So let's just go ahead. Okay. Now, my knife has been sharpened, so it's doing pretty good. But there has been times when these knives have been very dull. But I love my seven rabbit knives. So let's see, I've got that on all crooked. One of the knives that I really like is this one. And this one is a tomato slicer. It's serrated on the edge and it slices tomatoes. Okay, now, let's see. That's kind of, uh, because I can't, I, for those that are new, I have neuropathy in my hands and I cannot feel my hands very well. And sometimes they feel better than others, but they're not feeling very good right today. It's not, not that they're feeling bad, they're, they, they, they don't, I, I can't feel when I touch things. So, I tried, I tried one night, one of the tablets that I take is at six in the morning and you're supposed to take it with food. Well, I'm not up at six in the morning, ready usually to have food. So I said, I'll put a little snack or something by my bed. And at six, when I'm taking my pill from by the bed, I'll just pop a cracker in my mouth or something. So I had put a dish with a couple of peanuts in it. And in the morning I was laying on the bed and I took the little dish and I set it beside me and I tried to pick the peanuts up. And you know, I couldn't feel when I had the peanuts in my hand. I, I, I had to turn the light on. I had to go like a lizard and stick my tongue out and touch them and bring them up. When I'm trying to pick up my pills, I lick my finger and bring them out of the bowl because I, I cannot feel them at all. And I said, it's, it's going to become a real, real issue because... I have a hard time with a bunch of this stuff. You know what, I'm gonna put, I wanna make up a tray for Claudine. So I was gonna put crackers here and meat here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a duplicate tray over here for her. She won't want as much, but. It snowed here the other day. So a little bit during the day today, but not much. But it's cold outside. Yeah, this doctor, 
he was he, he had an appointment with her at nine o'clock. He didn't even show up to work until nine forty-five. And he come racing into the room like he was, you know, held up for leather and he was out of breath and he never even looked at her chart after keeping her on hold for all those days. He just never never even looked at her. Um, I, I just thought it was terrible. Okay. I'll put a couple of pieces of greenery here. This is my ode to decorating. There we are. And let's see. Known when I was young that I was going to be disabled the way I am, I I would have done things so differently. I would have traveled more. I would have done some of the things that I thought I couldn't do because I was too fat or too shy or whatever. I would have done all of those things. And I just wish I had, but I didn't. And. Lament me, I can't do it now, but I can do other things, and other things I shall do. Okay, okay, I'll put four pieces of roast beef on this tray, and then I'll go and put like the two or three on the other one. And we'll put three on this one, and I think there'll be three on this one then. I feel kind of mean I'm not giving this to Callum Ashley. Uh, maybe I'll have to divide it up between the two of them. Get another thing neat out. All right, let's see. Now, I'm going to put, oh, put a couple of pieces of this. This is very red looking pastrami. I guess that's what pastrami is, eh? I, I'm not sure if I've ever had it. Pastrami on rye, that's what the menu always says. So it must be something that goes well with like Oktoberfest or something. All right. There. You know what? Give me a second. I'm going to get another plate because I'm going to make one for a smaller one for Callum Ashley. Do anything without giving it to my kids. I really can't. I I just have to give it to the kids. All right. So I've got two dishes like this, and I'm going to just divide this up into those so that they can have that. All right. There we go. So they've each got that. We'll give them some of these crackers and some of these crackers. All right, give them a piece of greenery. All right, now the strong. one of these. There's one roast beef and one roast beef. Okay. 
And there's I should have thought of this ahead of time and, and planned on making this many and I would have bought more meat, but there's plenty for us. We don't need any more than this. We're not getting to spend Easter together because, well, quite frankly, because I'm not feeling it right now. I'm feeling Easter, I'm just not feeling big dinners and company and stuff. So we're just going to take it easy, Bill and I, and have a nice quiet, quiet dinner. All right, so there's that one. And, oops, all right. That one and that one. And then there. Now we've got some cheeses to come. Uh, let's put these out. One there. And one there. And one there. And one there. Okay. Now, a tomato. All right, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna cut that tomato in half. Put half in here, half in here. This one in thirds. Oops. Okay, piece sticking off. Ugh. Okay. So now we'll put a piece of tomato there, and a piece of tomato there, and we'll maybe put a piece of tomato right there. All right, now, cheese. This one is medium cheddar. Let's do medium cheddar first. Holy smokes, I handle those scissors like a champion. Sometimes I try to just go fast and then I, but sometimes when I go fast I fall, but. Sometimes I try to just do it fast and then I get it done. All right. So, let's see. Oh, this is crumbly. This is very crumbly. All right. Uh, what happened to that? Oh, this is falling apart. This is... Not looking pretty at all. Well, it's a good thing it's a, our family. I'm gonna put those little bits in like a cheese sauce. Oh, this is terrible. Oh. Oh. My goodness. I bet you I know what it is. I bet you it got frozen. Yeah, because I had it at the back of the refrigerator. And I'll bet you that's what it is, because when you have cheese, it freezes, it crumbles. I was told a trick for making it not crumble, but it, it involves bringing it out of the fridge a long time before you're using it. And I didn't do that. Okay, well, oh my goodness. We're going to call this rustic. It's rustic. Okay, let's see. These pieces are going into the trash. And this is a good long piece. It can come on my tray here. And you know what? These ones are going to go into this dish here. And we'll make a cheese sauce later and put it on it. I don't waste anything. I really don't. Okay, I wonder if this one will be the same. The different type of cheese. Okay, this one's smoke flavored Gouda. So. All right, let's. 
Let's see. All right. Oh, I'll have to go very carefully with it. It's coming off better. All right. So I am going to break it in half. Do the two smaller pieces. And then Oh dear. My family is so used to having to help me and deal with me that we don't even notice that the things are raggedy or whatever because we're just thankful that we can still do it. And and I think that's a lesson for people to know. You don't have to do everything perfectly. And if you're enjoying doing it, like look at me, look at this stupid board that I made. It's, it's as ugly as it come, but you know what? My kids aren't going to care. When I'm long gone, they're, they're going to say, you remember that board that mom made and we all laughed at? You know? That's, that's what I want them to remember. I want them to remember that mom was pretty funny. I don't want them to remember that I was the taskmaster or whatever. And, I, you know, I try, I try to keep my opinion to myself most of the time. I'm very unsuccessful with it, I will say that. Um, I, I go, plenty of your 40 year old woman, you don't have to do what your mother says, but your mother's gonna tell you what to do anyway. And then you'll do your own thing and then I'll, that's fine. But I can't help it. I told you the other day when I was playing Yahtzee with Bill, I was telling him where to put the scores. Well, he outscores me. Why would he listen to me and where to put the scores? But you see, I just feel like I need to control everything. <laughs> oh, dear me. All right, now let's put a few more crackers on here. And I think that everybody's going to feast tonight. Not going to feast with me, though, because i got a date. Don't ask me what I'm doing for my date, because we're not doing anything. But, oh. Okay, these are lovely little crackers. Okay, let's open them. What I should do, I shouldn't have put all the crackers on the meat tray because they're, they might get soggy. After I, after I shut this down, I'm gonna wrap the kids' crackers separately. I'll put these on our tray, just like this. I'll try to hold it up for you to see. And then I, oh, okay. I'll try to hold it up so you can see it. And then I'm gonna just wrap the kids separately. So, this is my attempt at a charcuterie tray. I'll show you the one I did for Claudine here. This is hers. And each of the kids, they have to share with that. Finn loves cheese and crackers and meat, so he will get to share in this too. So I wanna say thank you all for joining me. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Please share my videos around, invite your friends. More the merrier. We'll see you all tomorrow.